a warm Northumbrian welcome to the houses Lightwood Station to join us in the naming ceremony and dedication of our new inshore lightboat. Although we never met the gentleman who the boat's named after, we do all feel now we know him quite well. This boat's very important for the area you're in. You've got the Fawn Islands, you've got the beaches, Bambra, Sea Houses, Beadnell, Craster, Island. Holy Island Causeway is the main one for us at the moment. We have a lot of cars getting stuck up there. We have so many people foolishly using the causeway into Holy Island and the inshore rescue boat offers a quick and effective means of rescuing some of these people who otherwise would have been lost at sea. Well, both the lifeboats here are very important. The inshore lifeboat is very, very handy uh, for dealing with incidents close inshore, along the beach here, behind me. Uh, many, many thousands of people come here in the course of a year and enjoy the coastline here. And every now and again there's a mishap, somebody gets into difficulty, uh, gets a problem. That inshore lifeboat can get in very, very quickly and hopefully rescue the situation. To all volunteers, this boat is a very high-tech boat. It's a lot faster, quicker, more manoeuvrable and it's a very nice little boat for the area. Well, it's a much bigger, more mechanised operation now with the success of the operations based upon computerised techniques. A lot better. We've oh. got satellite navigation and all sorts now, but on the old one we didn't. Everything's been thought of, anchor boxes up front, flares, first aid box, everything's at hand. So if you need it in a hurry, you're saving time. Basically it's been very well designed boat. When Peter died, his brother Michael came up with the idea of raising funds for a lifeboat to commemorate not only Peter, but also their father, Leslie. This was very appropriate as Leslie had served in the Royal Navy and Peter had died at sea. The family had supported the RNLI for many years with Peter's mother, Marjorie, being actively involved in a local ladies' lifeboat guild. The RNLI have uh, their Train One Save Many campaign uh, to raise money to pay for training. It's very, very costly. The RNLI have now a purpose-built training college at Poole, which is really uh, par excellence in terms of training. It's absolutely superb. We train twice a month and we train hard and everybody's up to a high standard of training. They have a good college down at Poole there. The lads go down, they do their courses, they come back. And as the RNLI put it, they owe it to their volunteer crews to give them the very highest level of training they can. They are using increasingly more technical equipment and they've got to know how to work it and work it properly. And uh, it's in the best interest of both the safety of the crews and indeed the people they're going to rescue that uh, everything is used properly and everybody is trained properly. And um, it was a pleasure to have known him and today really is a fitting climax to a very long campaign that Caroline's been leading. We also have just offshore the Farn Islands, visited by many thousands of people every year. We have a very good safety record with all the trip boats going out there, but it's always handy to have a lifeboat stationed here, just in case of a mishap. The prosperity of the area now is based on tourism, and we have so many divers going out, we have so many pleasure boaters going out. Almighty God, bless us with his Holy Spirit this day. Guard us in our going out and coming in. Keep us ever steadfast in our faith, free from sin and safe from danger. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Everybody look at Mary. The RB1 has been developed and fitted out by the RLI. She's a credit to our service, an asset to her crew, and a lifesaver to those in peril. We actually carry two sets of oxygen on there now for divers with the bends. But years ago you used to have to grab it out of the cupboard and put it aboard. You know, everything's there, it's in a place and everything's got its place. Uh, now we come to our service of dedication where we thank God for all who work on the sea and especially for the work of the RNLI and those brave people who choose to serve their fellow men by going out in all sorts of dangerous conditions.
it's a great to look round the village and see that we have uh, these dedicated young fellas as volunteers and they come forward and what a job of work they do. I, I metaphorically take my hat off to them. Crews from Sea Houses, formerly known as North Sunderland, have been awarded five gallantry medals. Thanks on vellum, letters of appreciation for services rendered. Our station lifeboats have saved and assisted many in the years since the RNMI took over the management of this station in 1852. If you had Peter as a friend, I personally think you could be considered lucky. We thank you that it is possible for a lifeboat to be stationed here in readiness for the service of any who may need it. We give thanks for the crew of this lifeboat. We ask that you will protect and guide them in their work of saving life. Our lifeguards and all who risk their own safety to bring help to others. Guide all who work for the institution as volunteers, supporters or staff that they may be faithful to the vision of our founders. We didn't realise there was so much work put behind it and we didn't realise how many people would be here. And we know Carolyn and she spoke fondly of him and his work that he did and the RNLI. So it's been marvellous. Really enjoyed it. The, the general public is outstanding in just not only the nations, the legacies. We are grateful to all the general public. And we get a, a great response to everything we do. The fundraising events were many and varied. They included quizzes, raffles, walks, runs, a sponsored haircut, car cleaning. The list goes on and donations kept rolling in. On a number of occasions we have had uh, people giving donations to the station, you know, uh, checks or anything like that. Well, as, as we say, we're a charity, so anything's, anything's appreciated, you know. But it gives me the very greatest of pleasure to formally hand over D686 to Dr. Andrew Kirby, Vice President of the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. I think it's because it seizes the public's imagination. They know they're doing something positive in the positive saving of life, and they know they're doing something for the people of this country. We are absolutely amazed that she's not only donated one lifeboat, but donated two. Uh, and it just puts a nice personal touch on it when you get a boat with a name and particularly when we've all met, met the family and the donors, it, it's much more meaningful. Uh, and that support remains something of a treasure as far as we are concerned and is the envy of many others around the world. Indeed, it is no surprise that the International Secretariat of the Lifeboat Service is based in Poole in recognition of the standing of the RNLI around the world. Name this lifeboat Peter Downs. May God bless her and all who sail in her. Hibbit! 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 And we've kept in contact with the family while the boat was coming on station, let them know, know when it got here, and they've been following it very closely to see the rescues that it's already performed prior to being named here today. Peter will always be here. For those of us who knew him, he's, he's still with us. Um, we like to pride ourselves here at Seahouses that our boats are a little bit shinier and a little bit better looked after than possibly some other stations. But the normal lifespan for one of these inshore lifeboats, if they're well looked after, is about 10 years operational service. Uh, I'm fairly confident that this boat will probably be following the footsteps of the last one. But I've been 
very much overwhelmed by the tremendous support that has come from so many people. And without them, we couldn't have done with that even we couldn't have done today. It's been brilliant. As Senior Helsman, the Sea Houses Lifeboat, in charge of the small lifeboat, Caroline, thank you very much for, it's a brilliant little boat and I hope we can do you proud. We'll do our best every time we go out and we'll respect it when we go out.